Do you like riddles? There's a riddle Tommy has been thinking about with his friend, Steve. That's why they got this old pillow made of cotton, to help find the answer to the riddle. Steve's father said he would help. The riddle is, which weighs more, a pound of cotton or a pound of iron? A pound of cotton, a pound of iron. Perhaps you know the answer already. But let's watch with Tommy and Steve as they think it out. One pound of cotton. How much is a pound? Could you tell just by looking? Let's see. A little more. There. The scale tells us that's a pound of cotton. Looks big, doesn't it? Now what's next? A pound of iron. Father suggests using some iron bolts. Here are some iron bolts. You better take another box to be sure we have a pound. It doesn't make any difference what size the bolts are, as long as they are iron. Let's try the iron in this box. How big is a pound of iron? As big as the pound of cotton? Wait a minute. That's more than one pound of iron. There. Now, there's one pound of iron on the scale. Let's compare the pound of iron with the pound of cotton. Which is bigger? The cotton, of course. But which weighs more? Oh, Tommy sees. The cotton and the iron both weigh the same. Each weighs one pound. It doesn't matter if something is big or small. If it weighs one pound, it weighs one pound. If you just look at how big something is, it can fool you. Sometimes the weight of something is written on a package. This bag of grass seed holds just one pound. Sometimes the word pound is spelled out. And sometimes it's written L-B, for short. We still read this as pound. This is a new package. None of it has been used. So the scale should tell us the same thing. One pound. Now here's a question for the boys, and for you. Suppose the package is opened, and half the grass seed is used up. After this, will the label still tell us how much is in the bag? What do you think? The scale says there's only a half of a pound in here. The label only tells us how much the thing holds if it's full. The scale tells us how much things really weigh. Tommy thinks of other scales he has seen. Shopping at the store with his sister. Have you ever noticed the scales at the store? The butcher uses a scale to weigh the meat. How much does this meat weigh? One pound. How much do these potatoes weigh? Two pounds. At the candy store, they sell candy by the pound, or by the half pound. But look closely. Do you see some other marks on the scale? Those are like the marks on Tommy's scale. They look like they are parts of a pound. Yes, each of these marks stands for an equal part of a pound. It's called an ounce, and in a pound, there are well, let's see if we can find out. Perhaps with another box of iron bolts. One of these bolts happens to weigh one mark, or one ounce. Do you know how much an ounce is? Let's see how many there are in a pound. 
One of these bolts weighs just one, one ounce. Let's try two. Two of these bolts weigh two ounces. Now let's count with Tommy. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen ounces in a pound. Is that right? Yes, says father, 16 ounces in a pound. One pound has 16 parts. And each part is called an ounce. It takes 16 marks on the scale to equal one pound. It takes 16 ounces to make a pound. A pound is many times as much as an ounce. What do we use ounces for? Why, to measure things that weigh less than a pound. Candy, says Steve. See? Net weight, 2OZ, period. OZ is a short way to write ounce. So this candy weighs two ounces. Sometimes we use ounces and pounds together to tell how much something weighs. This size can holds one pound and one ounce. If one pound is 16 ounces, how much is this? 16 and one, 17, 17 ounces. Now this larger can holds one pound, eight ounces. Can you think of another way to say that? You might say a pound is 16 ounces. 16 and 8 is 24, 24 ounces. Or because 8 ounces is a half pound, you might say 1 and 1 half pounds. Do you see why? Tommy thinks an ounce is pretty small. A pound is more. Is there something heavier than a pound? A big truck. That must be more than a thousand pounds. Yes, it weighs much more than that. It weighs so much we use another word to talk about it. That word is ton. The truck weighs many tons. You can see what one ton looks like. One ton is 2,000 pounds. This is one ton or 2,000 pounds of gravel. So ton is just a short way to say 2,000 pounds. Tons are used to measure very heavy things. A pound is bigger than an ounce. Pounds are used to measure things not quite so heavy. Now here's a little quiz to see what you've learned. A bar of soap, how would we talk about its weight? In pounds? In tons? No, in ounces. It weighs five ounces. A sack of apples, how would we talk about its weight? In tons? In ounces? No, in pounds. It weighs five pounds. And each pound has 16 parts. Each part is called an ounce. In a pound, there are, that's right, 16 ounces. Now what are the boys doing? They want to know how much they weigh. Everyone likes to think of himself as big and strong. How heavy is Tommy? 68 pounds. How heavy are you? Do you know? How could you find out? How could you learn more about how heavy things are? <laughs>